Hi. Hello. I'm going to get ready. Give you all a chance to realise that I'm here. Jump on. Oh, there, there I am. Look, there I am. Turn the volume down on that. Marvellous. Right. Hi, guys. Hello. It's Friday, 10 o'clock again. They do come round, don't they? So, hi, Danielle. Hello. Oh, great to see a few people jumping on. Oh, have, you, have you been waiting for me? Are you excited? That would be great. <laughs> I don't expect you to be. Just, just happened to be on Facebook at the time. If it's me, I'm barely off the damn thing. Um, <laughs> I spend far too much time on Facebook. Really do. Waste time on it. Terrible. So, yes, 10 o'clock Friday. Um, why are we here? <laughs> Create and chat. Yeah, I've got a fab bright card for you. If you um, saw the advert or if you saw it on my blog yesterday, you, um, well, I hope you're going to love it. Um, my... Um, my theory regarding these new colours is life is not going to be boring, okay? Life is only going to be colourful here on out, <laughs> basically. I can't put them down. Cracker Jack, yeah, it's Friday, it's five o'clock, it's Cracker Jack, woo! My kids wouldn't get that now. My kids wouldn't get that. There isn't anything like that now, is there? They don't have shows like that where oh, people falling. So if there was the wall, that was a bit similar, maybe. Um, the kids did quite like that. I don't know, children's television. I come on Facebook Live, I hear you. Um, kids' television's got a bit... I think it's got serious. Children have got serious. TV's got serious. Um, and that that isn't serious is just oh, rubbish, really. I don't know. I think you always remember your own childhood and your own children's programmes with something of fondness, don't you? And then obviously as you get older, it all just looks like drivel. <laughs> Some of it I don't mind. I don't mind. The girls watch The Next Step, which is like a, uh, supposed to be like a real life as is, um, almost like a documentary, a mockumentary maybe, um, about a dance studio. I don't mind that. Uh, they did watch Wolf Blood for a while. I didn't mind that. That was okay. It was like a drama. Um, my favourite when I was a kid was The Box of Delights. Does anybody remember that drama? I loved that. I used to love the dramas. Box of Delights, that was my favourite. Maybe because it's reminded me of Sweeties. But, but <laughs> Box of Turkish Delights, mm, like that. Um, no, I loved that. That was wonderful. I used to love that. But then you, you, you turn into your mother, don't you? You turn into your own parents. I'm there with my children going, In my day... There was only two hours of t children's television, half past three to half past five. No dedicated channels, nothing on the weekends, you know, that was, that was it. That was all you got. Ten minutes at lunchtime, maybe, for the preschoolers. That was it. You know, and they're there going, oh, oh bored, can I watch TV? Stop it. <laughs> and, then you, and then you hear yourself going, I'm turning into my mother. Danielle's the same with her kids. I, I, I'm sure it's not. I think it's all of us, really. Whether we look, it's whether we're brave enough to admit to it. But yeah, in your voice, you're like, I can hear my mother. We went outside. We did go outside a lot. I was telling that to my children. I was saying to my children. But then you, I don't know. It feels like the world isn't as safe. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's no different. I think that just the bad things that happen are reported more in the news and what have you um but it feels like the world isn't so safe um but then i think i told you all last week that i'd done the scary thing and i would allowed them go to, to go to the park with some friends without an adult so we haven't done it again let's not push our luck um <laughs> went to the park as a big group yeah so i am lucky that my children being twins are the same age and therefore they can at least go together they're not, they're not on their own so I do have that. Play marbles, yeah. I quite often chuck them out if the weather's nice. I'll go and play outside on the drive. You've got bikes, skipping ropes, hula hoops, all those sorts of ordinary, normal children things that we had. And hula hoop. And I kept leaving it on the drive. And my dad told me off for leaving it just laid in the middle of the drive. And he's like, one day I'm going to drive over it. And he did. <laughs> it was a red one. 
Let me squash it. With hindsight, I can see it was my own fault because I kept over it on the drive. But at the time, as a child, you don't see it that way. Dad squashed my hula hoop. Um, <laughs> they're all fancy now. Mine was just a plain red hula hoop. They're all fancy now. They've got water in to help them spin better, apparently. So I don't fit in my children's hula hoop. <laughs> it's more like a very small rubber ring. <laughs> Oh dear, mm, yes. Right then, so it must be Crate and Chat have got my cup of tea. It's still a bit hot, which probably means it'll be cold by the time we're finished, but. And then I was make as I was making it, I was thinking, do you know what? I need a mug, I need a stamp. Either I either need a cup and saucer that I can put my pinky finger out and do it and really pretty cup and saucer. Or actually what I need is like a Create and Chat mug. Maybe I should get a Stamping with Val mug on it what do you reckon <laughs> sad isn't it <laughs> but totally need it obviously so I'm like yeah let's get one of those I say it's gonna cost ridiculous amounts of money I'm not doing it but if I can just maybe have a, a creating chat mug how cool would that be yeah hello <laughs> oh I'm slurping though because it's hot right I'll put it down so yes but do it with the right Good point. That's a good point because you guys would see it all backwards, wouldn't you? Good thinking. You're smart. You're smarter than me because I'd have never have thought of that in a million years. <laughs> I never would have thought of that. Oh dear. Yeah, good point. Mm, very good. Mm, right then. So, um, where are we? What are, what are we here for? Create and chat, that's it. We're making a card. We'll do that. We haven't waffled enough yet. There's got to be more waffling before we make stuff, surely. Um, I've not much to tell you, though. It's only been a four-day week, hasn't it? So the kids went back to school on Tuesday, uh, which is a little bit yay, but then it was quite quiet here on Tuesday, which was a bit weird as well. Um, but bizarre, they were lovely all over the holidays. Went back to school. Bolshy. Bolshy and miserable again. Um, but then talking to a few other friends, they, their kids were the same, bizarrely. They'd been lightened up. I think the pressure on children, I don't know, must be immense now, maybe. I don't remember feeling like that. But maybe I'm just old and I don't remember, perhaps. Four day week next week, yeah, I know. Yeah. And then there's only three weeks after that and then they're on holiday for half term. I don't know why they bother going, because <laughs> frankly, sometimes they seem to spend more time on holiday. Then they go. Um, I know that's not true, but it feels like that at times when these are really close together. So, um, yeah, so for the week, so I've been um, doing a lot of preparing, a lot of getting ahead. Um, one of the things I've been really working on, yours have only got three days next week. Are they sticking a teacher training day on you? I hate those. I hate those. Our teachers manage without training. In our day, our teachers were untrained. <laughs> I'm really feeling sorry for you, Danielle, if you've only got a three-day week next week. You have my pity. So, find something that keeps them quiet. Lego kept mine quiet. I can get the craft box out. That usually gets me a couple of hours peace and quiet. So, either that or go see something good at the cinema. What, what What's everybody seeing at the cinema? We saw Beauty and the Beast. That was fab. That was fab. There's nothing else on at the moment, but the kids are quite into Pirates of the Caribbean and there's a new one of those coming out at half term. So I think we're going to go and see that. And I don't mind a bit of Johnny Depp dressed up as a pirate. That's right. <laughs> Who doesn't? I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Where are we at now? Crafting. I've forgotten again what I was going to say. Yes. <laughs> Totally lost the plot now. No idea where we were. Right, so card this week. Come on, another swig of tea and then we'll get onto the card. Mmm, yummy. Right, I have to have my tea. A couple of people have actually said, it's not creating chat if you haven't got your cup of tea. Val and a cup of tea. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure every week I have my cup of tea. Just for you guys. Okay, start crafting. I'm going to. Right, this week's card. So I'm back to crafting with the global design team project okay 
love their challenges fabulous i did one two weeks ago i made it i forgot to enter <laughs> okay completely forgot uh last week we gave it a miss because we were doing the in colors i hope you liked that i am still now an in color addict it's as simple as that they haven't left my desk in the whole of the last week i'm kind of having to be like back away from the in colors because you guys can't buy them yet but the city as soon as you can all right you're gonna want to all right but i couldn't help it and they're on my card so um here's my card for this week okay so some of you might be thinking right just did you see Michelle's card before you started, Valerie? Because it's nothing like Michelle's card. How I got this from hers, well, hmm, I shall tell you. Okay, so Michelle's card, it was beautiful. It was all white. She had an embossed background. She had a little birdie in the corner. It was all very delicate and white, which I love. I love white. Don't get me wrong. Love it. Um, but what struck me was the frame. She had a little frame that the birdie sat on. Little, just a little white frame. And I was like, I like that. That was what caught my eye was the frame. Okay. And I was like, love the frame. That's, that's the bit I'm going to take from her card to make my card. Okay. Um, but I'm still in love with the ink colours and I don't want to do white because that's boring at the minute. <laughs> and as I said, life is now no longer boring. Life is colourful. So I was like, right, a frame. I want a frame. Um, and I was like, I want to do something. Um girls night oh have fun i'm supposed to be going out tonight actually with a bit, with some of the mums so oh have a good time well watch what yeah watch me while you're waiting for your taxi or whatever so frames that was what i wanted to do i wanted to do frames and i was like i want to do something unusual hers was a, a square frame with scalloped edge lovely but i was like frame. um i want to do something different Okay, and I've been new. I've used it a couple of times. Um, you might have seen the card I did earlier in the week, the baby card using the hexagon um, lid to make a boat, the bottom of a boat. Um, and I was like, that'd be a great frame. It's a really lovely size. And I am denied about what to cut in the middle. And at first, I was actually going to cut then the other hexagon from um, the build it framelits. But I decided not to in the end. I decided I wanted my frame to be a bit jazzy and I wanted the frame to have different shapes in it. So obviously I've got a hexagon on the outside, I've got a circle on the inside. And then I was just going to stamp my sentiment straight in the middle, but I decided now I need more oomph and more colour. So the three colours in this card is we've got Berry Burst for the frame. We've got that Lemon Lime Twist for the leaves. Love it. And then we've got Bermuda Bay for the circle, but then I've stamped the Tranquil Tide on top of the Bermuda Bay because it just is almost like tone on at that point it tones really nicely with the Bermuda Bay rather than just using Bermuda it gives you like a shade up and it's really nice okay so this is our card for today so let me spin you round and we'll get started so let's start crafting so we've got plain white card base couldn't not have that could I and as I say I do like white but I'm in love with the colours completely. Ooh. Ooh, I'm losing stuff now. Right then. Okay, look. White card base. But uh, we can actually put that to one side for a minute. So let's start with the frame. Okay. And so I've got, this is from the um, window box thing, this. And I've used the hexagon. But I've just cut... The lid part okay because i only actually have four sheets of this berry burst right now that's all i have and now with all the other projects i've done i'm down to about two and a half okay <laughs> so i'm using it very um carefully and very stingily so i'm only cutting the bits i want so i've only cut that bit basically okay because i only want the hexagon bit at the moment so there we have those and so I need to just trim this down a little bit though, because I have ended up, Baz has said, if you don't have the lemon lime twist, what colour can you use? Ooh, now you're asking. I don't know. I mean, you could just use, it's leaves. You could just use, you know, a bit of pear pizzazz. Um, or do your leaves in a totally different colour. Pool party would work. I like 
another really bright colour, I'd be tempted to say. What about even like an orange or a yellow? Who says leaves have to be green? Right then, so I've trimmed off. Yeah, Jen thinks maybe a daffodil. Yeah. We'll have a look in a minute. Um... I was playing around with them. What about that? No. That would work. That could be cool. Yep. Would make a good alternative. I'm risking burying things. I've got things dotted about that I'm going to bury. Right. So I've got my hexagon now and into that I want to cut a circle and for that I've actually used the stitch shaped framelits okay and I have got two circles this is the second largest circle that's going to cut the frame and then the third largest circle I think cuts does that look right I think so. I think that's how it does it. Okay, this one's going to cut the Bermuda Bay card. Okay, I'll get the big shot across in a minute so that we can do it all at once. Okay, so so that's going to cut that. This is going to cut this. So, who of you managed to spot where my sentiment came from? Baz says, what are the colours from the Eastern Palace cardstock? It is Fresh Fig, Tranquil Tide and Dapper Denim are in there. So those are the cards that you have currently got. Um, this is actually from the Oh Happy Day card kit. I don't actually own the card kit, I have to admit. When we went to an on-stage event... Hi, Narelle! Oh, thank you very much. Um, when we went to an on-stage event, it might even be this time last year, April last year for the catalogue launch last year. Um, at the end of the event, um, they give some of the stuff away that we've used for makes and takes um, because it's not much use to them. Um, so they've given it away and you tend to just sort of pass the box around and take something out of the box. And I'd ended up taking out the stamp set. We didn't have the kit. I think cards from the kit must have been one of our um, makes and takes or something. Um, so I've moved those and then I can't see your thing. Next time to make, well, yeah, I've saved it. I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> I'm saving it for something. I'm not sure what, but I will. It looks like I've cut that out with a plain circle. But it's the same size so we won't worry about it cut it out with the stitch one then you've got a nice stitch circle to use next time so this is how i managed to end up with this without actually owning the kit but it had some really nice sentiments in it and i loved the font and what have you so i've ended up using the love you the oh happy day card kit is actually staying it's not going that one that one's going to stick around um and then we have um, a lovely new card kit joining us. It's got lots of that lovely lemon and lime in it as well. Okay, and like I say, I'm using the Tranquil Tide to pop on here. Because it's just, on, on the Bermuda Bay, it's just like a really nice dark tone. But not black, because I didn't want black. Black would be lovely. Don't get me wrong, black would be a nice accompaniment along with these colours if you wanted to add in another dark. Um, but I kind of didn't want my writing to be black. So, so that's where that came from. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and then I don't need to do my cutting because I've already done it, but I've lost one down the back here. Is you're going to need some leaves. And now I've cut these from the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. Okay, and this leaf is from the Flourish Thinlets. It's this one. And here's a fab top tip for you. Where you've got um, thinlet or framelit dies that have got lots of dies in them and maybe some little ones, like that little tiny leaf one in there, okay? 
it can be really easy to leave that one on your desk and lose it and I've gotten a bit muddled especially because I like to mix and match my dies quite a lot and then I end up with them all over the desk and I'm like what goes where I had two flower dies on my desk for months I couldn't work out which sets they belong to what I've taken to doing is with a permanent marker so that it won't rub off I've actually been putting in brackets how many dies belong in this set so then if I end up with some random die on my desk that I don't know where it goes, I can at least sort of count up in the sets or when I put them away, count them back into the packet and make sure that I've got them all um, and not got one randomly left somewhere or in between layers of cardstock. I tend to do that by the big shop and what have you. Um, I make a mess everywhere, me. So this is quite a nice little tip that if you just use a permanent marker to write on there how many dies belong in the set, Hopefully that will help you keep on top of them. So this um, really funky leaf comes from there. Um, but I've already die cut those, so I'll put that back in straight away before I leave it on my desk and find it later. But I says she does that too. It's a good tip. Right then, so the only things we need to die cut is we need to die cut this and we need to die cut that. So let's move things out of the way grab the big shot here we are that one's a bit flatter we'll put that one on the bottom okay and if we're a bit canny i think they'll probably be able to do both at the same time can you see the big shot yeah for the most part So I've got my magnetic platform so that things aren't going to move around too much. Okay, I'm just going to position that as to what I think is in the centre of the hexagon. And then, yep, yeah, we can put that on as well. I'm going to die cut my sentiment as well at the same time. <coughs> so there we, through we go. Move that back. And this actually isn't a very hard card. It's really just a sort of an assembling of elements rather than anything else. So we can pop that out of there. Hopefully, she says. And yeah, you've got a really nice berry burst stitch circle that you can use later. So pop that to one side for another time. Okay, we've got. I love you sentiments so I'll pop that to one side as well and now we're really talking about assembly so the first thing I added was the frame and personally I just put some why do I always pick out the unopened one there's about half a dozen in here one's not open that one's nearly empty so's that one <laughs> They're all empty. Right, let's have a go with this one. Right, we'll see. They're all, they're all dead now. All dead. Right. I picked the right one. Look at that. Okay, bit of glue on the back of there. I could have raised it up on foam dots. I was tempted to, but then I was kind of like, actually, um, I want the sentiment to be higher. So that would have meant putting that basically on two lots of foam dots or something. So I decided I would just stick this on straight in the end. Okay. Can you hear that noise? That's my dustman. Not my own personal dustman, obviously. So they normally come earlier than this. I think they're doing the route the other way around today. So stuck that on. Now for the leaves. And I actually put these on next and I used rummage, 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 glue dots. But I didn't want too much leaf, if that makes sense. I found the excess leaves a bit bulky poking out, so I actually just trimmed them off. You could leave them on if they hide underneath, but I found they weren't hiding terribly well, they were sticking out. So for two of these, I've actually trimmed them off. But I've kept the stalk because I need something 
to attach the glue dot to. So you could easily save the leaves and put those on another project as well. Okay. So my leaves, I'm going to put a glue dot fairly low down on the stalk because I want the glue dots to disappear under there. You don't want to find them in that gap. Okay. So that one I'm going to position pointing towards that corner. As you can see, that's now going to end up there. You could just hide a glue dot under there maybe, but I think it'll be all right. Okay. This large full one that I haven't trimmed anything from. That's going to come, yeah, about there-ish. And this one goes up there with that one. Kind of like that. Okay. We're nearly there already. See, I told you it was just an assembly thing. So, glue dots on the back of here. Now, if I was my friend Bruno, I'd cover that. But I'm not, so three is enough. Three is plenty, actually. If I was feeling really stingy, I'd go with one or two. <laughs> okay, don't get rid of any wispy bits that you might have from die cutting. But mine don't cut yourself on the card, which is what I end up doing. Okay, so now this just goes into the center. Trying to make sure I've got it centered up nicely. So you can see what I mean about those extra leaves. They would have ended up just sort of the edge really poking from there and it would have distracted it. So trimming them off, that's definitely the way to go. And then all I've done is finish mine with a few um, enamel dots. So sometimes I just put one on. Yeah, I'd be tempted, yeah, if I'm feeling stingy. Some enamel dots. So these are staying with us in the catalogue, which I'm really pleased about because I totally haven't used them as much as I should have. Okay, I love this little heart in the sentiment, but I decided to cover it. Now I've got both the Bright's enamel dots and the um, Regal's ones. But if you only wanted to buy one, you could maybe just get away with the Bright's. Um, so because um, what I wanted was a pink. The Melon Mambo is a little bit too bright, really, if I'm honest. Okay, so I actually used the Rose Red which as we when we were discussing the ink colours last week was really the closest match to the berry burst. It's not the same, it's not a true match, otherwise where would be the point in releasing it? But um it's probably the closest. So and there aren't enamel dots in these ink colours. So trying to cover and doing a really bad job. What's happened is the nail that I would normally use, these two nails on this hand that I would normally use, I've managed to break this week in some some way or another. And they're the ones I'd normally, I used to have a pair of tweezers, but they disappeared. They got nicked at a class one time years ago and I never got them back. And I keep needing to buy a pair just for crafting and I forget. <laughs> okay, and then I've used some Bermuda Bay dots as well. Okay, but as I say, my... um. The nail that I would use on my right hand, I've broken. Oh, I've managed to flip that one over and now it's stuck to my thumb. Brilliant. <laughs> Couple up there. Another one down here somewhere. Wherever takes your fancy. Hmm, not sure I like that one there so much. This leaf seems further that way. Not sure. Anyway, we'll bung it on anyway. There we go. Right then. And there you have it. My super bright card for the Global Design Team Challenge. Looking nothing like Michelle's last card whatsoever. Um, but that was where um, I um, where my inspiration from her card took me. Um, that and the ink colours. <laughs> That in the in colours is, is where I ended up going. So there's my really bright card. It's fairly quick. It's not, once you've done the die cutting, it's really easy to put together. So it's not a complicated card. But the colours really mean that it's going to have some wow and some impact. So I hope you like it. Um, let me spin you back round 
and then we'll have a quick chat about all the things coming up for this week and things you may or may not have seen and then I'll let you get on with your day. I so I'm getting the hang of this now aren't I? Getting the hang of this. Moving you about malarkey. So did you like today's card? Carly says she loves it. Yay! Hi! Um, thank you very much. So I really like it. I really like it. Um, I have gone a little bit nuts with the in colours. I completely confess. Um, but I do. I just love them. I think they're fab. So um, move you back a little bit more. Um, T still going. Not so hot now. So what might you have seen? So this week I had another card with the in colours. I had this one. This was the thank you card that I produced for my customers for April. There's still time to get one. I did extras. Um, so this one is um, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist and Fresh Fig. That's another really fun combination. Brilliant. So if you fancy one of those, you just need to go shopping in my online store. Okay. And like I say, I did, I did extras. Okay. The other project that I shared this week, was it this week? Was it last week? I can't remember now. No, it was this week. Okay, was this fun card. Did you see this one? This one on my blog and YouTube on Monday. Okay, um, and there's a video for how to make the gift bag with the card hanger and the card. Okay, and this is the um, hexagon, the window box for inlets, window box thinlets again, that hexagon lid cut in half to make the bottom of a cute little boat. And then I've added it with um, bookcase builder. Okay, some of the sentiments from that because they're perfect for babies in there actually to make this cute little baby card. Yes, for my friend who's having a baby, she's due. She's due in a couple of weeks, but she's been having one or two issues. Um, and so it could it could be earlier if there's a problem. But so far she seems to be, she um, developed gestational diabetes. So um, they're really having to keep an eye on her. So, um, but she's done okay this week. So she's doing all right. Um, so yeah, I've already got that prepared for her. I've got another card, but I won't be sharing that until, um, I'll have another video for that a week on Monday, but that's using a two of the in colors again with a, with a current color, um, that I can't wait to share with you with a really fun technique that I hope you're going to like. Um, what have we got coming up on the blog this week? Monday is stamp review crew blog hop, and we will be using nailed it. And I have a completely different card than you might think using the Nailed It stamp set. So I'll hope you'll check out that. Um, it's also the last couple of days to get in with the Crafty Carrot for our May programme, which is also using Nailed It. You don't have to buy Nailed It. And I appreciate that Nailed It isn't actually still available. It's on the retired list. And in some of the countries, it's actually sold out. You don't have to buy Nailed It. You just have to spend the equivalent amount with us, which in the UK for me is £19. Um, I'm not sure if Nailed It's still available for us or not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's one I'm really sad to see go. So if you don't have it, get it because I think it's actually a brilliant addition um, to your stamp collection, to be perfectly honest with you. It's one I'll be holding on to. And um, there are some fab products coming in the new catalogue that will actually go really well with it. So I'm, I'm sad it's going as well, Baz, to be honest. Um, Danielle says she's not really used it much. I've used it loads, actually. Look on the blog because I've and, and search for it, because I've actually used it quite a lot on the quiet. Um, so I will have uh, a card using that on the blog on Monday, but then also the Crafty Carrot will have loads of um, techniques and projects and what have you using it in there. I've designed mine. I'm doing the Step It Up this month. So I've got two cards to share with you using it, a simple card and then a stepped up card. So join us in the Crafty Carrot if you'd like to see those. What else have we got coming up? Oh, Eastern Palace obviously so as of Monday the two Eastern Palace bundles will be available to purchase 
The first bundle, I believe, includes the Eastern Palace stamp set, uh, the three ink pads, that's Tranquil Tide Fresh Fig and Lemon Lime Twist. Um, and after that, I can't remember what you actually get. <laughs> I'm not sure what you get. Possibly some paper or some card. I know you get some f something free vanilla wise. You get some either some new notelets um, or some envelopes or something. I'm rubbish, aren't I? I'm not actually sure that I know the second bundle is everything. So in the second bundle, you get the stamps, the dies, the paper, the card, the ink pads and tassels. Uh, the stickers, um, they must be in there somewhere. I know you get all of that in the big bundle and you get a pack of the new thick vanilla A4. I can't wait to get that. Danielle says note cards is in the smaller bundle, is it? And then you get the vanilla A4 in the big bundle. Can't wait to get some of that. Can't wait to get some of that. So I did do a card with Eastern Palace a couple of weeks ago here live on the Facebook page. Um, I just ended up getting the stickers and the ink pads and things and I have got the tassels as well which are really cute and um, I've got a good idea for a couple of projects using those coming up so um, watch out for those. Uh, so that's released on Monday. Okay so check the blog there'll be another blog post that will be about that. And there'll be information in my newsletter going out later today. Um, Tuesday we get to order. If you're a demonstrator and you haven't gone to on stage, we get to do a little pre-order from the catalogue. We don't know what we'll be able to choose. Um, it's not. It's never the whole catalogue when it's an annual one. It's usually a selection, a small selection of new things. Um, I'm so excited for that. Um, absolutely bursting to um, do that. They've changed it now so that they take the um, online ordering down so that they can populate it with all the new things. And they take it down for a couple of hours in the middle of the night. Um, and we used to, years ago, we used to stay up. We used to stay up till like 11 or 12 o'clock, which for me is very late. I know for some people it's not very late, but for me, that's way past bedtime, okay? Um, and we would stay up because you could get your order in literally like one minute past 11. Um, Danielle says she didn't get to go, so you're waiting as well. And I know Baz didn't go, we're all waiting. Um, yeah, we used to stop up and then like literally at one, past, one minute past 11 or one minute past midnight, you'd be there trying to do your order, half asleep. You'd forget your catalogues every time because you're doing it half asleep. Now they take it down, they take the website down until about two, two or three o'clock in the morning. There's no way I can stay up till then. <laughs> Some people do. Some people set an alarm and wake up and do it. I'd order all sorts of rubbish if I did that. I'd do it in some sort of half awake kind of, what, just order stuff and let me go back to bed. So I'll be doing it with the masses on Tuesday morning, which probably means the website would be really hard to get into as well. Um, but as soon as I get those things, I'll let you know and I will hop on and we'll do a Facebook Live with the box and all of that stuff so I won't be ordering everything um I only order the things I love because then I make good stuff okay if I order stuff I don't love it just sits on the shelves I don't use it anyway so I'm not gonna have everything coming but what I do have I will show you and I will share with you so I'm not sure when that's gonna come but I can't wait to order that on Tuesday if you are not already a demonstrator but you're thinking you might like to be um if you join now, you can choose the Eastern Palace stuff as part of your starter kit. Or if you wait and join on Tuesday, you can choose any of those pre-order items in your starter kit. So if you can't wait to get your hands on the catalogue and can't wait to get your hands on new stuff, then um, signing up to be a demonstrator with me in the next few days or on Tuesday would be a fantastic opportunity to do that. Um, and if you sign up like today, for example, you can see the catalogue online already. So, um, but like I say, if you if you did it say on Tuesday or after Tuesday, you can put those um, pre-order goodies as part of your starter kit. So that's very exciting. Uh, next Friday, I have my live in-person class. So if you're local to rugby and would like to come and craft with me, 
drop me a line and let me know and come and join us we're a fab bunch we meet the first friday of the month which is going to be next week 5th of may half past seven um at a community hall in rugby we make a whole load of cards we eat cake we drink tea and generally have a fun time for a couple of hours on a friday night and how else would you have spent your friday night slumped in front of the telly maybe maybe so what we do is far better and you can go home and do i did something i had a good time out with my friends and i made six cards Yay. um so all of that coming up next week i will be back next week with another facebook live on friday at 10 o'clock no idea what we're going to be doing we'll wait and see nearer the time maybe if i've got my pre-order by then mm, might be squeezing it but if i have we'll obviously play with that um mm, maybe i won't have it but we'll see okay um so all of those fab things coming up over the next week i'll hope you'll join me um don't forget to face uh face like and follow the facebook page if you've enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe by email to the blog don't miss out on anything that goes up on there uh, my newsletter goes out at five o'clock tonight and i will have a um pdf instruction of today's card that you can save and download and keep in your inspiration folder or whatever it is you like to do with it um you can join my team all kinds of stuff okay so i hope you'll join me for one of those things and i'll be back here again soon bye